Hi Reggie, this is Alia Richard, your wife. Are you soon to be wife? Uh, this is the day, March 16, 2024. We're, we're getting married today. I'm so excited, even though I'm a little bit nervous. But, uh, I, I don't know what to say. Just know that I love you and I will always be there for you in everything that I do, in everything that we do. And I just pray and ask God to continue to bring peace, love, unity, and to guide and protect us. Also, to cover us under His blood and allow this to work. It will work in Jesus' name. So. This is all I have to say. So, this, I love you so much. Alright, so, just want to thank God to bring us together and happy to have you have in my life. Just want to continue to serve God together and grow in the Lord. Bring up you them together and have a peaceful life. And I love you. Keeping you so and I climb every mountain and swim every ocean just to be with you and fix what I I need you to So we're gonna come in this side. Here we go. I never knew what love could do to a heart that is surrendered from that the truth.
Okay. Dearly beloved, as we come together here in the sight of God and in the faith of this company to join together this man and this woman in this holy matrimony, which is honorable in the state in the truth of God, signifying unto us the mystical union that between Christ and his church, which is holy estate, Christ adore and beautify with his presence. At the first miracle that he have born in Canaan of Galilee, and is commanded by St. Paul to be honorable among all. Therefore, is it not by any of you to enter unadvisedly, lightly, but reverently and carefully, soberly, in all the fear of God, into this holy estate, these two percent come together to come to chime together. If anyone can show any just cause why they may not lawfully join together, let him now speak, or else hereafter forevermore hold your peace. Anyone? Who want to stop the wedding? Anybody want to be dead? Nobody want a big stone. I don't think nobody want a big stone today. Let us continue. I require and charge you both that you answer of the dreadful day of judgment when the secret oath shall be disclosed that any of you know any impediment why you both may not lawfully join together in this holy matrimony. He do now confess this, for it is your or sure that if any of you join together, otherwise than God's word, both, both marriage is not lawful. That means if you know anything that you should not be coming husband and wife. Not to. All right, I wanted to face each other. I want to look good on each other. Right. Is this the, the man or the woman that you want to marry? Yes, sir. Okay. Look good, you know, make sure that this woman that you, you have spent your time with, look in each other eye. Okay, and this is the woman that you can do, look in her eyes for the rest of your life, that you will have to forsake all others. All right? Good. You can please me now. I am so proud of my my son and my daughter. Are you looking beautiful? Yeah. Oh my papa. Yeah. Amen. Let us get in the world. We all Christian, ain't it? Let us stand everywhere. We're just gonna sing um a local refrain and then we gonna ask Reverend mother don't swell to pray god blessing on um, the evening i would like you all to stand let us glorify god together please thank you what a friend we are in jesus all our sins and an occasion, my Father. Oh God, I always call my son and my daughter, but brother, Pastor Roger and Sister Elia. Oh my God, calling to holy matrimony, Father. Lord God, we just thank you, God, for what you have done 
thank you, God, that you will have started the work and you will finish, my Father. God, we pray, God Almighty, that you will continue to bless. You'll continue, God, to seal them together. Oh, God, that they will be in love in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, we thank you that you are Lord in their lives. We thank you, God, that there's testimonies and there's witnesses that, oh God, these two young people love you, God. And so, Father God, we give them to you, my Father. We bring them up to the throne room and give them to you, that, God, you'll continue to lead, you'll continue to guide, you'll continue to instruct, you'll continue to correct, and, Father God, in heaven, you, God, whether it is strong rebuke, that they will take it, Lord, because whom the Father love, he chasteneth Father. And so, God, we present them to you now, God. And we thank you for what you shall do. We thank you for what you have already done. We pray for the parents. We pray for the family members and well-wishers here today, God, to witness this, oh God, wonderful occasion. Father, have your way now, God, we pray. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Amen. Amen. God taught you to serve to say, our Father. Who art in heaven, all of you down there, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. For thine the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. 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 You can be seated. My scripture for today will be taken from 1 Corinthians chapter 7. Now concerning, may the Lord have his blessing and his word. Now concerning things they are that you wrote unto me, it is good for a man not to touch a woman. Nevertheless, to abide fornication, let every man have his own wife, and let every woman have her own husband. Let the husband render unto the wife due benefit, meaning what belonging to it, and likewise also the wife unto the husband. So he make it clear in verse 4. In that the wife of not power of her own body, but the husband. Hmm. And likewise, have not the husband have not power over your own body, but your wife. So default meaning don't keep away. I don't hold back. He not one another, except it with a consent for a time that you may give yourself to fasting and prayer and come together again that Satan tempt you not for your intensive. Meaning, you are now exchanging body. Alright? You are giving yourself to your husband. You are giving yourself to your wife. So, is it not your body anymore? It's her body. So she want kiss, keep her kiss. She want hope, keep her hope. Remember that. When you come in angry, you got to upset with something out of the world. And you have to come to come to your case. Remember, did not see your body. The two women are kissed. Alright? Alright. And so, if you come in and you want to know what it is, give it to him. Give it to him. At much as you can. So you have no room, no time to go out of work. That's all. Yeah? What's like when my pastor? 
No. Give it to him. I said, not tonight. Give it to him. Every time it's every time. <laughs> Same to you, sir. Make you worry, worry, worry. I just reach to climb it. But make you enjoy yourself. God said, for you to avoid outside, I want to look at me, don't look on the ground. <laughs> outside of it, you will commit in front of it and sin. Apart, any time after, before now, is sin. And sin is a reproach unto every man. But righteousness is out in nature. Now, today, you have authority, you have power, you have right. It's not fornication no more. After you make vow with each other. It's righteousness. It's sanctification. It's multiplication. It's increased. Yeah. It's blessings. Because sin brings destruction. But righteousness lifts you up. Exhort you. Bless you. So you have all right after this. Even if you want it in the morning and in the evening. Whatsoever you want to do, whatever you want to carry it, chew it, bake it, fry it, whatsoever it is, you know, it's yours. You, you're free. This is freedom. And so it is. Do not withheld yourself from your husband. Husband, do not withheld yourself from your wife. Amen? Unless it be of a consent, that means you are going and fasting, and it's first Sunday, you have to serve communion, you are, you are, you're going to preach. So you have to serve yourself that you want to get in the world and to study to show yourself a proof. A work man need not to be a judge. You have to support husband. And if you know he's going to preach, you say, go. You're not getting at the world yet. Yeah. Yeah. And he said, yeah, mommy, get in the, 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 when you get in the world, you, you get where you begin. <laughs> get in the world, bro. Set up the word, put the word in order. I didn't get me again, but I want my husband to do it. Because guess what happened? A virtual woman takes pride in her husband. You want your husband to do well. The pride of your husband, because of its excellency. And you, the proud of your wife, because of her beauty, her smile, the way of put, put herself together. You know, and all of her head among his fellow friends and family and church sisters. Take pride in each other. Cherish each other. Don't be afraid to kiss each other before everybody. You're teaching these young men that is coming home. So you 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 coming from work and you see your your wife coming with her wife who I'm home. Don't be afraid to teaching somebody. How to love your wife. Because you're the pastor. You have to be an example to the saints. Hallelujah. You have to let them see that wife is a gift. Because those who get a wife, it get a gift. If you found a wife, you found a good thing. And I'm telling you, she's a very humble young lady. I don't know if you're in the back. She's a very humble young lady. You're not so humble. But guess what? The grace of God is upon you, and so He beautifies you with the glory. I wanted to look back on a picture. Hold up God and look on a picture now when you are in God. And they will see the glory of God. And take it to them and put them. Glory of the Lord is upon you, both of you. Grace is upon you. I'm proud of the both of you. And I'm even proud of I mean, proud before. I take pleasure in your relationship. Hallelujah.
Amen. And so I am begging and beseech you both. Take pleasure with each other. Enjoy each other. You're in the kitchen and she's cooking or doing something. Don't just pass her. Go inside. Go inside. There. <laughs> Don't let any form of boringness in the relationship. Don't let no boringness. Laughed. Laughed. And no outer counseling. You hear me? Because your father is here. Because I know you're young. No outer counseling. Don't just, don't bully. If you see something that you need to fist and so take her and counsel each other. Encourage each other. Don't be a father, be a husband. Okay? And this is how it makes the problem in a lot of relationships. They want to be the father. You're not the father, you're the husband. You're not the mother, you're the wife. Let the mother be the mother. And let the wife be the wife. And the mother is here. Both of the mother is here. Be the mother. Not the wife. Keep them, them space to become their own relationship. Support them. Stay far. And show you local blessing. And give you local advice. But let them work themselves into what they are doing. Let them cherish each other. Let them love each other. And sometimes you want to pick side, but not pick no side. Just say, listen, work out in a situation, you know. Work it out. Face it. Uno son, uno no son, uno no go on well. Behave, uno pastor. You understand? Tell you something like that. But don't go in and put your mouth in. No worry, that. Leave them, make them live. Encourage them and pray for them. We have the reverend mothers of the church. We have the pastors and the elders of the church. They will come in and they will show them love and passion. But do not, mother, please. If you don't pick side, pick the inside. Here, you say if you don't pick side, pick outside. Okay? You better do it, sir. But not try to bring on a division. Your mission is to bring and to keep, not to bring them, because they have already been together. We don't have nothing to do with them. They like the one and they've been doing all that. We don't have supporting them. Don't but any of them do anything. We don't like the one and that. Yeah. So they are just here to support you and to build you up and build up your relationship. So I'm for one you. Custom and all that. When they are getting a little, little argument and a little contention, come up. If I no good, you say, no say nothing. You hear me? If I no good, you say, if you not say something to help them, no say nothing to bring them apart. Please, I beg of you, got many marriages. Much of, not because of the individual, but because of the family member. See what's business. The family member. Take up your things and come, girl. Pack up your something and come home. No. No, say that. Listen to me now. I tell my son, say, Mr. Come home where? Come home over here. I'm going to submit to your wife because they're wrong. Tell me play. Where you come? Tell me ya. Eh eh. I submit you wrong. Send him back home. Answer one. Mister, if you left your wife, you left a father. That also me is. Ask him. Papa ask him. You run, you run. Amen. I do that because I want him to work all things. To be responsible because it's not going to be so mood every day. Every day, rain for it's not going to be rain every day, it's not going to be sunshine every day. There are going to be tickles on top, but you have to work it out with humility and with love. You have to work out this. 
This year has been happening over and over. You're not all like this. What you can do? Compromise. So, okay. I did tell me like, you know, but guess what? For your sake, I'm going to do this and let this work out for the both of us. All right? They still want to get married? So we're going to the the vows. Face each other. The so I am calling you. I wrote a poem. I, okay. No, just just what you're saying it for. Dig the call her name. Alia Richard. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to all. To have and to all. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Forsaking all others. Forsaking all others. Keep the only unto. Keep keep the only Keep me only unto you. Keep me only unto you. So as long as we both shall live. So as long as we both shall live. You're going to say the same thing now. The I. I. Call I'm Richard. Take the. Take the. Roger Powell. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have unto all. To have unto all. In sickness and in health. Forsaking all others. Forsaking all others. Keep the only unto. Keep me only unto you. Keep me only unto you. So as long as we both shall live. Amen. I mean, what we do, we just make bond to each other. So you can love each other. You can cherish each other. And you can help each other to feel in the very best way. So I'm gonna ask you this. Mr. Paul, will you take this woman to be your wedded wife? Yes, sir. To live according to God's ordinance in his old estate of man, matrimony, will thou love him, comfort him, honor him, keep him in sickness and in health, forsaking all other, keep thee only unto him, so as long as the boy shall live, so I will. I will. Okay. My sister, will you know, take this man to be your wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy state of matrimony, will you know, love him, comfort him, honor him, keep him in sickness and in health, forsaking all other people, all unto him, as long as the Lord shall live. Oh, give this woman to be married. Oh, give this woman to be married. Face me. We're going to pray God bless you. God, I thank you for Jesus. I thank you for dying on the cross for us. We thank you, God, that you have sprinkled the mercy seat and you have granted us forgiveness for the sin that we have done, for the sin that we are about to do, Lord God, you, your blood is sufficient to cleanse and to purify us and to make us pure and right. Lord, I apply this blood upon this relationship. Your blood is now purifying the relationship, making it pure. Anything that is in it that is not of you, anything that is in it that will cause curse, disappointment, confusion, division, and all other things that will cause their marriage not to work. We rise up against it. We plead the blood of Jesus against it. And we present them before you as man and wife. We say, Lord, that they make covenant and vow between themselves. And Lord, and even in the side of this company, I pray in the name of Jesus, that their covenant will be signed in heaven. 
I did have been signed and wrote. God, I pray that the peace that pass all understanding will rest upon them. And anything that is not of you, God, will not prevail. In the name of Jesus, the glory of the Lord will continue to be upon them. You will purge them inside out. And Lord, anything that is coming as an attack, we rise up a standard against them. And we pray in the name of Jesus that victory shall be theirs. Lord, we glorify you, we honor you. We pray for the family that is here to support them and to help them and to encourage them. Lord, that they release them to each other, as one release the other to each other. I pray, God, they will not interfere. They will not go back on their word, but they allow them to grow and increase. They will support their children and their children, children, in the name of Jesus. The unity, hallelujah, will be among the family, will be strong and will be great. There will be not be any confusion or contention. But Lord God, the spirit that passes on all understanding will rest upon them. Lord, we thank you, we praise you, and we honor you for doing this and more. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. You're wonderful. Bless you, Amen. Usually, we use the water because anything that we present before called Kimmy the Under, you're going to put it in. That one, that one. Anything we present before God, it must be washed. Okay? So I, as I watch your hand, I'm watching of the past. The past relationship, the past act. If we never inquire before, it can't come up back no more. It has been washed, you have been purified, and you have been made fresh. And you and I anoint you with oil because the anointing make it easy. Okay? The anointing make it easy. One thing with the anointing. The anointing help you. Help you live. What you can do for yourself, the anointing will do for you. Amen. Now we come to take him out. So, this man. I also anoint the ring. Okay. Let pray God bless him upon the way. Bless O Lord this ring that he she who will this one is not you. This one is for you. Okay. Yeah, good. Bless the Lord. Bless O Lord this ring. That she who he who gave it and she who wear it may abide in peace and continue in my favor until their life end. To Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The ring it is it's a symbol of your outward expression. Of the inward thing. Marriage is a spiritual thing. The ring is to show it an expression of your spiritual love. Whether you believe it or not, you're already married. Now you're going to sign the paper for the law of the land. But in heaven, your marriage will make it exchange out to each other. That you will be with each other and love each other and cherish each other as your own. You're ready to exchange in the body. Alright? So, this ring is an expression. So, you must be here. And when Tommy says, somebody, I look for you for like this. You understand? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm taking an old child. I mean, old fun, handsome, and nice. All right? <laughs> Amen. So this is the expression of your ring. The ring is a symbol of your pledge and of your faithful fulfillment of your marriage vow. The outward and physical, visible sign of the inward and the spiritual bond united this man and this woman in endless love. Amen. Take this ring now. The thing was I know. The thing was on. And to put it on the on the top of it. The both of them. Put it on the top. Turn it up. Turn it. Turn it up. Well, I don't put it on yet. Put it up. Right, turn it. I want to turn it down again. But I can turn it like this. Okay. You're going to say after me. With this ring. With this ring. I de wed. I de wed. In the name of our Lord. In the name of our Lord. And Savior. And Savior. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Listen. I don't know what it is this morning. But when I know it, man, in the laugh. And trust me. Is it then sweet love, my love? We must love you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay. Let us pray one more time. Mm. O eternal God, creator and preserver of all mankind, giver of spiritual grace, the author of eternal life, by whose name that has been given for salvation, the name to be worshipped, the name Jesus. Send your blessing upon these thy servant, this man and this woman, whom we bless in your name, that they may live faithfully together, may truly perform and keep their vow, and cover and covenant, sorry, between them both. This, this ring have received and have taken an a pledge. And may they remain perfect in love, peace together, live according to the law, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Put your hands together for them, Brethren. People will say that when you sign this paper, you're signing away your life. But I don't see it like that. You are making an earthly covenant along with a spiritual covenant. Okay. You see no email looking away from Are you wise? I see the All right, you're going to write what you say. All right, you have to write it exactly like this, okay? And that's the whole hand you see. Write it where you can feel okay, comfortable. Why well, I didn't say man I write good but uh-uh. you write good man. Okay, look at right. man no really write, you know and I tell you you put the, you put it on. You put it on. Come with daughter. Alright, you have to write exactly this. Anything you have here, but you write. You and, caps? Hmm? You caps? Yes. Do that. Alright? Um 
no you can just sign in this name now next time we sign in after this you can put quarrel on it but for now we just leave it like this right? Wonderful. Mm. Lord, are we school in girl? No, sir. We look pretty. Woo! So, we're going to have, have the maid of honor to sign. Yeah. Can you write it out for me, please? Yeah. Oh, my God. You, I, I'm, I'm the person who is It's support the best, the best man. The best man signed first. It's up at top. Thank you, Bishop Carr. Put right out your name up for you. Yes, a college boy designer. Come. <laughs> you better write it good. You better be a hot night in the fire. <laughs> Watchmen, <laughs> clap them, fashion, clap them, them good, them nice. On 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 a plan for this, on a set up on the self for this year. All right. Oh my lord. We're gonna ask Bishop, Bishop Carr to sing under to the nice song for them. I love to sing so song, sing one nice. This is so I make it places. Oh, what a love, my God. Come on, brother. Easy and love. Karate. What good have I done for God to send His Son? Oh, and I see good. Like this, see, because God save you, sanctify you, bless you with a husband and a wife. Oh. Jesus, it's a blessing. Now, let I pronounce it. I get, I get excited, it's like I'm here, married. Those who have joined together, let no man put asunder. For as much as these two have consent together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and this company. By the power infested in me, honor the law, and by law of Jamaica, I now pronounce you husband and wife in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. You can kiss your bride. Ah, yeah! Why? Oh, Jesus, Holy Ghost, Hallelujah! No, no. <laughs> what you say? I want to do. No man, that I want to do deep. <laughs> no, that I want to want a deep one. <laughs> that miss you? Okay. 
Are you happy for the anniversary? Yes. Can you walk on the like on the happy? Can you walk on the like on the happy in the name of Jesus? Amen. Amen. All right. Now, come on, come on. You understand? You understand? No, me the honor. All right. You, Charlie, in, in the ancient days, in the ancient days, you would have you would have give the the bride. You know, then it seems like it's a bride's responsibility. You have to work hard with the to keep the marriage together. No. I don't give the bride, I give the both of them. Because it's your responsibility, both of your responsibility to keep on the marriage. To do everything that you can do to keep your marriage together. Here is the both of you, not one. So now what we expect? I want you to do this and I want you to do that. I mean I do not no uh -uh. do what you have to do to keep your marriage together. It's on the both of you. Alright? And it's on the both family also, not one of the family, the both family to support your children in their choice. Because it's not like first time where when you put in a belly. You, 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 you go over in the store and say, you know, me, when, you, me want, when the daughter born, you, you give him to my son. You know, and I say go again now. Okay? People fall in love and choose who they want to get married. And so, we the parents, we have to 100% support them and give them the love that they have so that their marriage can work. Okay? Thank you. All right, so I'm keeping the both of you. You what the Right. All right, that is. So I let it go. So any one of you want to be the old safe keeper, you can be. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So here it goes. So clap them one more time. <laughs>
Que abre um. Eu vou para a mala se eu for sair, eu vou começar a ver. Eu vou para a mala se eu for sair, eu vou começar a ver. Eu vou para a mala se eu for sair, eu vou começar a ver. 